it is hump day. Hump day. Hump day. And Fat Dan is with Big Mama the whole day. Hey, Fat Man. Hey, Big Mom. He gonna try to keep Big Mama straight. That's right, Big Mom. That can't happen. No. Look, can't we're, happen. we're on a road trip. We're in Big Red. Yeah, we're in Big Red. Um, Bessie is being driven by the kids today. Um, they had to take my sweet grandbaby to the doctor. And her car is messing up. So I let them use Bessie. That's why we got a cast of and washed for them. Um, Batman is taking Big Mama to UAB. I've got a doctor's appointment. So road tripping. We're going to stop by the cool thrift store on the way back home. Correct, Batman? Correct, big yeah. girl. Yeah. Big and mama. we have a supervisor. Oh, hey. Now you're going to have to say again because I started this. Well, no, that is on the slip, I think. Did I start it where you said? Yeah. Okay, I can't remember if that's on this clip or not. Anywho, we are packing. I packed some snacks. We're on the road. We hadn't even left the neighborhood good yet. We're getting out of the neighborhood. Yeah. Um, I still have yet. Those flags are sitting in my dining room. I take it upon myself to decorate our sign. I need to get the leaves off I need to clean it up and uh, put those flags on each side of the poles I usually did that at Memorial Day or at the beginning of May you usually have it done at the beginning of May don't I man I'm dragging this year y'all what up with that anywho we are on our way to the big city of Beham Dang. Look at, you know, we've got dinosaurs. He calls them purple dinosaurs. I'm going to show y'all the mansion. Yeah, we don't live there. <laughs> Here's a little tell people, uh, uh wrong way. When you see the big mansion on the left, we don't live there. Keep on coming. <laughs> Oh, but anywho, so we're on a road trip. Who knows what might happen? If we need bail money, Sheila Marie will call you, or Dong, honey, we might call you. We'll, Belinda, Laura, you're the closest. Um, we'll call somebody to hook us up with some bail money. Because good looks ain't going to get us out, is it, fat man? <laughs> I might starve to death <laughs> And see, that's the thing, well, I was going to say, that's the thing about Alabama jails. You get three hots and a cot. But in Alabama, that's not always the case, is it? It depends on what county you're in. And I think they should go to that. Some of these counties ain't got air conditioning in them jails. They have tents, and they get the bologna sandwiches. Yes to the man, that's how it should be. If you did something wrong to deserve to have your butt locked up, and you don't need air conditioning in them. You don't need a good hot meal. Because some people that work really, really, really hard and they're barely getting by, they don't have air. And they don't aren't guaranteed three hots. You know what I'm saying? So, anywho, I'm going to get off the soapbox and we will see y'all further on down the road. Okay, y'all. That man mentioned it. There is a Fiat behind us. Let's see. There's a Fiat behind us. Y'all know what that means. The Italians are coming. Oh, God. <laughs> I took your hotel down. They did take our hotel down. That used to be the University of uh, Townhouses. That's where we would stay if we had to stay for a while. It's kind of like a, not really a Ronald McDonald house for adults, but if you had to stay for an extended period of time, you stayed there. Look at that excavator on top of all the rubble, though. That is so cool. I want to be on top of the excavator. I want to do that job. I want to drive one of those one day. Come on now, y'all. 
Could you see Big Mom? I want to be scooping some stuff. There's a bus. But yeah, they took our hotel down. Um, if we had to stay for an extended period of time, we could stay at the UAB townhouses. And it was only like $50 a night, but it had a kitchen and a separate bathroom and a living room. It was like a little apartment. Um, and it was here if you had to stay for an extended period of time for like recovery and that type thing. Um, yeah. We got to come that first time because we didn't know how long we were going to be here with the test and everything. So, but we are here. We made great time. That man drove wonderful. He only got off the side of the road once. He said he was testing, what did you say? He was testing the white line. Okay. He was testing the white line. That's what he was doing. Yeah, there you go. <gasps> There's my Dodge van. That's it. That's what I want to haul all my grandbabies. Carol Beth would be comfortable in that. She's been laying in Big Red's back seat. She's been laying across. Yeah. Yeah. Been sleeping. Yeah. yeah. She's starting to wake up now, though. But we are fixing to go into the parking deck. My just terrified thing. Love it. I cannot stand parking decks. Love it. We are. We are going to check and see how much it is to valet if we've got handicap parking, which I do. I've got a permanent handicap placard thingy. I'm just going to park this so, And there goes my crochet needle. We're going to the top, too. There's the actual hospital. It is gorgeous. It's got a fountain and it's glass. Little thing splash. You can't really see it for Bubba. Bubba's in the way. Hey, Bubba. Hey. He's Bubba Bo, fat man. Whatever you want to call him. Pine. Shug. There's my Dunkin' Donuts. Notice fat man did not take me to the Dunkin'. Mm. I was wanting some iced coffee, but evidently we ain't get iced coffee. The only thing they have here in the hospital is a Starbucks. I'm not paying for some Starbucks iced coffee. Then again, I might. <laughs> you gotta stop here and get your ticket, make the thing raise up. You are about to hit things. Good gravy. <laughs> Keep you on your toes. Keep me on my toes. You're making me clench my butt cheeks. <laughs> Clenching my butt cheeks. That is not a good thing. Yeah, do you see why Big Mama don't like this parking deck? Especially in this truck. It feels like the roof is like right there up on this. Yeah, no. Big Mama is not a fan. Okay, now if we wanted to... There was handicapped over that way. Or is that ballet only? That's handicapped. That is, they're fixing to come out. <gasps> Can get back around, huh? I got these barriers here. <laughs> okay, there's the crosswalk to the Whitaker Clinic. That's where we're trying to get to. Uh, we gotta go back down the tube. Well, by the time we get back around there, where is she going? Oh, the Italians are coming. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Fiat. Three is usually my lucky. Yeah, three is our usually our lucky one. All right, we're waiting in the exam room. I'm sitting in a chair that she made raise up, and it did my weight. It was like a cattle scale. <laughs> What'd you think of the scale chair? I like that. I'm all right. It took me way on up in the air, didn't it? Yeah, it's 
feet were hanging outside. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, I like the bird picture. Yeah, well, I bird picture. Uh, but we are waiting, and she did tell me to bring up all my issues that I was telling her about. So, we'll see. Yeah, we're trying to get out of the parking deck, and we are having a hoozy of a time. Oh, sorry, and goodbye. There's only one cash and credit line, and we're doing cash. So, and you hear sorry, it's because, yeah, for a hospital, I mean, you know, hey. Downtown Birmingham. Yeah, downtown Birmingham. But we are trying to get out of the parking deck. It took me about longer to find a parking spot in the parking deck. And now I'm trying to get out of the parking deck as it did the whole trip getting here. <laughs> huh? That person behind me, I guess they were thinking I was going to let them in. Yeah, no. It's every man for himself in this parking deck, I'm just saying. Look here, Beth. Thanks. You hungry? Yes. Alright, so they're wanting Mexican. We have found by just following Google Maps, we found Cozumel Grill. I think we're in the hood. That's okay. That's Mike's merchandise is next door. But we hungry. Ain't we hungry? I'm hungry. Right, so we're looking at the lunch. And it's nice in here, Hunker Beth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Except we feel we had chips and salsa. But the cheesy dip, all of it comes with peppers. So we aren't doing cheesy dip. But they do have the lunch combo thing. So, yeah. And you see, you can't go wrong with Mexican. This is our food. This girl bed got the cheese quesadilla and fries, which is what showers gets whenever we do Mexican. Fat man. Hey. Fat man got refried beans, rice, taco, enchilada. I got the same thing. And then we've got a chili red and we'll the split. Um, it looks delicious. I'm just gonna put some on my pie hole. <laughs> okay, for the Casamel Grill Mexican restaurant, if you are near, where are we, Pelham? Pelham. Yeah, we're in Pelham. If you're in Pelham, just be good, y'all. That was good. Table slapping good. Yes, table slapping good. It was better than our favorite Mexican in Prattville or Montgomery, don't you think? Oh yeah, it was delicious. That chili we in the mm, Oh my gosh. And we all three ate for like, 30, it was 32 something, go ahead and say $35. Um, it was 32 something, I don't remember. But now we are going to head to our thrift store. Um, Laura, hey girlfriend, had told me about they have really good prices on baby stuff. So, we've got a few items that we're kind of looking for for our sweet baby girl. So, we're heading there and then probably try to hit the Aldi's and Alabaster. Um, today's the first day of the ad and they used to get better stuff than the one in Prattville. So, we we're going to pop in and say, he didn't know about the Aldi's. I'm waiting for him to go, what? That to me looks like a Kafka. It's a home accent discount thing. And my Google Take Maps. Take the next right onto Cross Creek Trail, then turn right onto US 31 South. We're following her. Okay, y'all, this is one stop shopping here in the South. Massage parlor, a tattoo parlor in a pawn shop. I don't know if y'all can see that. I don't know if I can. Yep. I see. Tobacco. Massage tobacco. Tattoos. And pawn shop. That's like there's a place in Montgomery. I kid you not. There's a liquor store. There's a pawn shop where you can buy guns. And then right next door to that is a bank. So you go to the liquor store. We've done figured this one out. You go to the liquor store. You get your courage. You go to the pawn shop. You get your gun. And then you go to the bank and you get your money. 
<laughs> that right? Well, like you got yourself a I got myself a plan. But here I can go and eat, work in the massage parlor and get you some money and go to the tattoo shop. And then Fat Man could go to the pawn shop and he could, yeah, yeah. It just, I'm sorry. I thought it was funny. That's like, <laughs> that's like it, the all you can eat buffet thing. Uh, Martha's Place in Montgomery, right next door is a Weight Watchers. And then right next door to that is a Curves Exercise Gym. Hilarious. And all you can eat buffet with the Weight Watchers next door and a gym. Now, I'm sorry. If you can't find humor in that, come on now, y'all. Come on. Don't you think that's funny? That's pretty dang good and funny right there. There's a John Deere place. Fat man said that's what heaven's gonna look like. John Deere's. Isn't that right, Hoyne? That's right, Hoyne. Oh, I'm glad I got gas at the Costco. I got it for two fifteen. It was two sixty back there. Good gravy. Oh, there's your new front store. Hey, thank you. We got your little go kart golf cart things. We need us a golf cart. At Halloween, they use golf carts to go around the neighborhood. Do I hear a choo choo train? Okay. To everybody that likes brain farts, punch buggies, and yes, is it still behind us? No, I just pulled off at the exit. I just pulled off at the exit. Anywho, the Italians are coming. <laughs> there was a Fiat behind us. Y'all know what to do. Brain farts for smart cars, punch buggies for Volkswagens, Beetles. And you can do punch buggy white, new school, old school, middle school, convertible, spoiler, yeah, tiger tail if you're in Alabama. Or if you see a Fiat, the Italians are going to. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm glad he didn't fart on my hand. <laughs> and that was without suspenders, folks. Yeah. Extra bungee equipment not included. <laughs> it is too hot for us even thinking about all that. Oh, girl. I'm day. I want to take off my clothes, but not for that reason. It's just, honey, it's so hot in Alabama. We might be taking off crap. We really need to leave on. I'm just saying. Big mama be hot. Even with the air on in the car or truck. We in the truck. Hey, Carol Beth. Can you tell everybody hey? Hey. How are you enjoying your road trip? I can't know. I'm tired. You're tired? Yeah. We've had several stops along the way, on the way back. We had to stop by the thrift store and found some good deals for our... I was looking for, like, baby toys and baby stuff. I could not find what we were looking for. We're looking for like a stand-up walker she can push. They got one at their house. We're kind of wanting one just to hang out at our house. Um, it's just easier that way. They don't have to haul stuff back and forth. We don't have to haul stuff back and forth. Yeah, it just makes it more convenient. Um, but anyway, we did find her some cute cowboy boots. That man found the shoes. They found some little tinny shoes for and some cowboy boots. So they were a have to. Um, and then we had to pop in all these, see what they had there, because there they sell wine at ours in Prattville. They do not. We're Methodist, it's okay. Right, honey? Right. Out of the Baptist drink, they just act like they don't. Uh, down here, anyway. Yeah. And they're the worst drinks. Yeah, they are. They're, the, they're your alcoholics. Anyhow, at the Methodist, we do moderation. I might buy one bottle of beer, one bottle of beer, one bottle of wine once in a blue moon. This was the peach I'd been wanting to try, the peach. They have peach and pineapple, and I've heard so much about the peach. 
So if you're in Alabama and you know about Chilton County Peaches, then you understand. Right? Right. Right. So, and then we got some cherries. He got some deodorant, just a little more things that we needed. Um, so that was the thrift store in Aldi. We are now on our way home. We're on I-65, dealing with traffic. Thank goodness nothing has backed up so far. So far we're... Well, we had no backup. No. Usually you had to crawl with some of these eggs. Some of them, I mean, seriously, stand still. Remember that one night? It literally took us two and a half hours to go 17 miles. You know, it wasn't even 17 miles, but it was nine miles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it took us two and a half hours to go nine miles. What the hannies? That was bad, though, because you saw the helicopter. Yeah, the air mid. Yeah, the air mid. If you see, yeah. That's bad. Anywho, we're on our way home, praying that we don't get stopped or have a wreck or, yeah, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Okay, so we are back from Birmingham. Um, got a shot in my leg. Bursitis is what they're going with right now. Um, I go for my treatment tomorrow. They're running labs. He's checking for um, my Sjogren's level. He's checking for my GAD level and um, lupus markers. So, fun stuff, fun stuff. Anywho, um, what we got from the thrift store? Yay! Got this old picture frame. Kerbeth's going to do a photo print for me. I got it because I found that. Look at that. And it came with the old picture. So I could not pass that up. So I love that. And we have decided to go with the idea of selling the kitchen table in here, this white one. Because it is. It's nothing but a catch-all. Look at that. It's a catch-all. It is a catch-all. So, like I said, I'd rather have more practicality than decoration. Thrift store for our baby. You can, it actually works. You, and it dumps. So, we got her that. Um, trying to get to the rest of our thrift store stuff. I got a couple of shirts um, and some shoes. Here are the boots. Aren't those cute? I hope I found those. And these. She's got some little kicks. The little stinker weighs 17 pounds now. She is only in the 25th percentile of weight for her age. She is a tiny little bug. We got to work on that. We have got to work on that. For sure. Um, I just got me some tops. I got Carol Beth the top. Um, trying to see what else. Oh, I did get some. Oh, why is my... I did get some changing pads. We needed some changing pads for here at home. I tried laying her last night on the couch to change her, and Maddie was like, no, she's going to have some of your couch. We did find a cell phone that she can play with. So that was what we found for the baby. I got me this flowery top. Either this for Carol Beth or me. One of the two. This one for Carol Beth. She loves that color. And then this one for me. I love the like silky type tops. And this one still had the price tag on it. Um, and I only think paid like a dollar ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah, it was twenty one ninety nine from Cato. And it is the open sleeve. There we go. 
thought that was a good buy. From Aldi, we got, I think, got the peach one. I saw it. Um, I found the cold brew coffee. So I got the French roast. And I got the original. Um, we got this for Doris. We got some cherries. And Fat Man some deodorant. He needed. So, oh, and then I knew Aldi Quarter Keeper. This is supposed to hold the quarter better than mine. Mine, the quarter, you can never get it out. So, but anyhow, that's our haul. That was our day. Did you have a good day, Samuel? Mm -hmm. We had a good day. Like I said, shop for bursitis. I get my treatment tomorrow. Um, I'll hear more about my lab work from my patient portal. Um, he's going to call in some cream for my rash. And we're just going to kind of go from there. See what the lab work shows and move on. So, until then, put on those pearls, put on that smile. Y'all be sweet and enjoy your road trips. Um, yeah, yeah. Now, tomorrow there will not be a vlog done. So, in fact, they told me I needed to really just rest today and tomorrow. Let that shot stay in place. I probably walked around a little bit more than I was supposed to. Um, but yeah, we had we had a good day. We had a good day. So see y'all next time.